Rakshit and I am an aviation uh, professional, 36 years old. This incident occurred a year ago, precisely on the 26th of July. I was getting ready for a walk at about 8 a.m. I was tying my shoelace and my head started spinning. I just thought it's going to go away. I sat down for a few minutes. It didn't. I went inside and I slept. My wife came to me and she asked what happened and I couldn't explain what was happening to me. I started sweating profusely and the head did not stop spinning. Something that my mother gave me to eat while I was at home, I couldn't swallow it. And when I couldn't swallow it, I, I was a bit panicked. And that was the time when I said in the hospital that I couldn't. And they said that uh, you'll have to be taken to a bigger hospital. Then they decided to take me to Manipal Hospital. We went there and uh, Dr. Mayank and Dr. Guru were uh, fortunately present at the same time. They immediately rushed me to different scans and in no time they figured out what the problem was and they said I'm being brain stroked. In two hours, I was in the ICU surrounded with all the pipes. But importantly, I think I reached the hospital within about four, four and a half hours, which is known as the golden uh, time. And with the consent of my wife, they gave an injection to dissolve uh, the clot. I was kept under observation for 24 hours in the ICU because they said there could be chances of bleeding, but luckily nothing happened. And in about 24 hours, I was shifted to the ward. In five days time, I was out of the bed, out of the hospital. And during these five days, Dr. Mayank and Dr. Guru were of great support. Uh, to my family, to my wife in particular. The staff were quite supportive too and they, they played an important role when it came to my walking again. The physiotherapists who came, they were really, really patient um, because I just couldn't stand and I was very fragile and their support, without their support, I couldn't have walked and all the nurses were very, very friendly. They took care of me as a part of their family, took care of me, took care of my wife and my family members and the incident happened and of course I was on medicines. I used to visit uh, Dr. Guru regularly and in the last one year there were ups and downs and I think it is common to undergo those anxieties after the incident has occurred because it is only then that you realize how big the incident was. I would like to thank Manipal Hospital's Yashwanpur for bringing me back to my uh, feet, letting me stand on, on my legs again. I am a lot better compared to what I was a year ago and I am, I'm, I can do anything like how I was before the incident occurred and uh, I am forever indebted to Manipal Hospital and uh, Dr. Guru and Dr. Mayank in particular.